You are listening to the Daily Gospel Reflections with Sister Cloth. This podcast is brought to you by the Pauline's Multimedia. It is our mission to bring the Word of God to all peoples through sounds and images, voices, and music. Come and join us as we share with you a thought a day. Our Gospel for today is taken from St. Luke chapter 8, verses 19-21. to 21. The mother of Jesus and his brothers came to him but were unable to join him because of the crowd. He was told, Your mother and your brothers are standing outside and the wish to see you. He said to them in reply, My mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and act on it. May the blessing of the Lord be with us now and always. What is Jesus' message for us today? It seems strange that instead of acknowledging the presence and importance of His beloved mother and relatives, Jesus made a statement that disregards them. What was His response when someone informed Him, Your mother and your brothers are standing outside wanting to see you. Jesus' reaction was surprising. Instead of saying, let them come in, or could you please make room for my mother and brothers? Which would be a natural response of anybody to an unexpected visit by a loved one. Jesus seemed to take things for granted. He merely said, My mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and do it. Jesus lived in a culture that deeply valued family. So it might have been a great shock for the crowd who heard him say those words. But Jesus did not apologize. Reflecting on this, I am inclined to believe some scholars who maintain that Jesus did not mean to ignore or disrespect his mother and his brothers. According to these scholars, his response was meant to acknowledge the greatness and prominence of his biological family, especially of Mary, his mother, who is not only a hearer of God's word, but also one who lived it to the full. I also take Jesus' response as his way of showing his appreciation and devotion to his mother and brothers by recognizing them as hearers and doers of God's words. Didn't he say, my mother and my brothers? Though Jesus may seem to have ignored his very own family, I feel Christ's all-embracing acceptance of everyone as potential members of his own family. He highlighted the most important attribute necessary to become part of his family, the capacity to listen to the Word of God and act on it. In this, we all have a valued and integral role. Let us pray that the Lord may help us find ways to live in fellowship with Him and those who seek to hear and obey His Word. This fellowship is not just a concept but a reality that connects us all, providing support and strength in our journey of faith. Be with us again tomorrow as we share with you a thought a day. Meanwhile, you can follow us and listen to other Apple and Google podcasts on Spotify, produced by Pauline's Multimedia. Have a good day.